Hi everyone, my name is Corey Yoder and I am currently a student with Santa Barbara City College, just getting ready to complete my associate's degree in health information technology. I am currently in my last semester of the program and I have prepared a PowerPoint presentation to provide information to uh, current students or uh, new students that are um, looking to go back to school. So let me go ahead and share that PowerPoint with you. Okay, so I wanted to provide um, just some simple um, key points that would benefit a student um, that is pretty much enrolled in any college. So one thing I would recommend is that you pick a program that definitely piques your interest. Um, make sure that um, you know that um, the course or the program that you wanna go into is definitely something that you're interested in or maybe it's already a field that you're working in. Um, it would also be a good idea to reach out to current or former students and ask questions. Um, one thing I would tell you is I got, um, into Santa Barbara City College um, through the recommendation of a colleague and friend um, that really pushed me um, and told me what a great experience she also had with Santa Barbara City College. Um, one thing I would recommend is if you are going into the HIT program, it definitely does help you if you are already currently working in healthcare. A lot of the courses that I took uh, within the HIT program um, really helped bring together everything that I was already currently doing in healthcare. Another thing that's important for me is time. Um, I do work full time, I do have a family. So taking online classes through Santa Barbara City College was definitely something um, that allowed me to still work full time and still have a great um, school work life balance. Uh, one thing I will tell you is that with online courses, you do definitely have to be disciplined. Um, and you have to make time to complete your assignments, complete the reading assignments, complete the projects. Um, but a great thing about taking online classes is that you can make your own schedule as long as you meet your deadlines. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend leaving all your assignments to be completed the day before they're due. Um, but if that's just how your time works and you work well under pressure, then um, I guess that'll work out for you. Um, another thing I would definitely say is don't overload yourself with taking too many classes at a time. Um, I started off in the medical coding program and the medical coding program is about two years. Um, and when I started, I told myself that um, I wanted to be done by a year and a half. Um, and I sort of met my goal, um, but there were definitely some struggles in classes um, that maybe I had to um, decide not to take during, um, you know, a summer semester because they were just uh, too difficult or too compact. Um, so don't overload yourself and understand that um, in the long run, the program that you're completing a lot of those classes are gonna have great information that are gonna help you sit for an exam or for a certification um, that is gonna help further your healthcare career or any career. Um, it's important that you're uh, retaining the information that is being presented to you um, because that is definitely a key factor um, in those certifications and those exams. Also, don't be afraid to use the resources that are provided to you by the college. Um, they have fabulous resources such as the Career Center, the library, um, also counseling. 
um, with your counselors for the programs. So definitely utilize those resources if you do need them. They also have a great tutoring for program with Santa Barbara City College. So if you are struggling in a class, you know, reach out to the tutoring center and see if um, they do have a tutor available to help you. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to your instructors. Um, also, when you are taking classes, or even if you haven't started the class yet, um, having a good rapport with your instructors, definitely in the coding program and the HIT program, a lot of the instructors are the same. Having a good rapport with them is always something that's important. That way, um, if you are struggling, um, it's easier for you to reach out to them and ask for help or ask for guidance. One thing um, I want to let everybody know is um, it's okay for your educational goals to change. Um, I definitely did not start my educational goals by wanting to go into the coding field, the medical coding field, or into the health information technology field. Um, I went to school in my early 20s and became a pharmacy technician. I still hold that national certification. Um, but you just need to be realistic. Like if your um, you know, professional goals are changing, then obviously your educational goals are gonna change as well. Maybe you take the first couple classes of a program and you decide, you know what, I really, I'm really not interested in this anymore. You can always change um, any type of education that you want. Um, but make sure it's definitely something when you're going to school that you are interested in. Aside from those um, like core classes that you need to take like math or English or history um, or the elective classes. Just some pieces of advice that I wanna give that I definitely think would have helped me um, in starting school. I want to share some of my knowledge and my struggles. Um, learning and furthering your education in healthcare, in healthcare is something that's never going to end. I wish I had someone that would have told me that um, when I started school. Um, being a medical coder, going into a medical coding field, or going into any type of field in HIT, you are going to be learning for the remainder of your career until you retire. So please understand that in going into um, any of those type of healthcare um, programs. Also, um, it's okay for your career path to change. Um, mine did. And I'm very fortunate that um, I have a drive for knowledge in the healthcare industry and um, that I have been able to um, continue to stay in healthcare. Um, don't feel that because um, things are changing with a company that you're working for in healthcare that you have to find another company to work for, unless you want to. Um, but just know that your career path and your educational path can change. Um, and the information that you learned previously, um, you will still use in the healthcare industry. Um, be open to learning in different ways and getting out of your comfort zone when it comes to education. I myself um, didn't want to go back to school because I have a fear of public speaking. You would never know, but I do. But um, I took a very great communication class that um, kind of helped me in um, learning how to present myself better in public speaking situations. I still get a little bit nervous, but um, one thing I have learned is as long as I'm very well prepared, um, I don't get as nervous as I used to. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions and be accepting of help. Um, you know, someone told me that um, there's never a dumb question. And if you have a question, most likely someone else around you has that same exact question. So when you're going into your classes, don't be afraid to reach out and ask your instructor a question because I'm sure another student in your class has asked that same question or is wondering the same thing. Um, also set an educational and professional goal for yourself and give yourself a realistic time frame. 
don't say that you want to complete a three-year program in 18 months, um, not realizing that that's not realistic. Um, if you have a family and you work full-time, um, trying to complete a three-year course in 18 months is a great load to put on yourself. Um, so when you do meet with a counselor and they do provide you that guidance of these are the classes we recommend and this is the time frame, um, just look and figure out what's realistic for your life. Uh, don't rush your education just because you want to get it out of the way. And um, that is actually the last piece of advice that I have for you. Um, I just want to say that um, I am completely open um, to answering any and all questions any um, new students or current students have. Um, I am currently working in the healthcare field and um, will continue to educate myself. Um, because I'm working in the healthcare field, um, you kind of really don't have a choice because healthcare is constantly changing. So just know that when you go into a program with Santa Barbara City College that is healthcare related, that it's not gonna stop once you take your last semester of classes. So um, I will provide my contact information um, if anybody would like to reach out or has any further questions. Thank you.